Cecilia, uh, would that be uh, how capable are the children, are the students, are the athletes dalam dorang punya pergerakan physical pergerakan mereka? That is under the same thing. Uh, lapas satu, hmm. we'll take a well, five minutes yeah. break, maybe, inshallah, and we'll show you a bit of a video on last time that we had a talk on dynamic warm-up and stretch. Jadi, uh, saya akan menunjukkan cara-cara uh, melakukan proper dan warm-up and dynamic stretching. Lepas itu, kita akan berbicara and do some practical outdoors. I think everyone will enjoy it. Uh, if it doesn't rain. Uh. Alright, so, uh, any um, <coughs> quarantine? <laughs> ada? Ada? No, no quarantine today? H1. I see a lot of empty seats. Mungkin orang politik atau mungkin uh, orang tidak tahu whether the kursus satu uh, still going on. Because I had some messages from a friend. Is it still on? So they don't know whether it's still on because of the H1N1. So that's a bit of a shame really. So uh, don't worry. Uh, you can tell them that all the seats are still empty. Uh, the slides will be in the website. Have anyone, has anyone um, logged into the website? Show of hands? Found it? Easy to, na easy to navigate? Easy to navigate, yeah. So I'll put, uh, as time comes along, I'll post more and more presentation slides uh, from everyone. Coach Rana, Dr. Deknish, everyone, I'll put it in the uh, website. Right? So, um, long-term active development, movement literacy, some videos and practical outdoors. This is the main thing that you need to Fundamentally learn. Uh, fundamental artinya asas. Fundamental asas. Jadi di um, di di capital letters begitu fun. That means for children fundamentals should be fun. So pada peringkat seseorang child, one child, they should be broken down into these categories uh, untuk mendevelop atlet jangka masa panjang. Uh, the, the person who is responsible for this is not me. It's, an, it's a guy called Dr. Isvan Bali. Uh, you can write it down, his name. Dr. Isvan Bali. He's a renowned, uh, very famous person that develops all these long-term athlete development projects uh, of all countries. He's been to Canada, he's been to UK, he's been to the America, uh, Americas, uh, Cuba, South America, and North America. So this, uh, I'm very, very passionate about him because I wrote a paper about Bali and learn all the fundamentals of how to train athletes. Jadi, kalau seseorang kanak-kanak itu, mereka mesti mempunyai certain skills yang mereka perlu terdapat sebelum menyambung ke peringkat yang lain. So, this afternoon, kita akan specifically touch on those kind of skills. So, first one is fundamentals. To learn fundamental movement skills. So movement skills, apa yang perlu diketahui pada peringkat akhir fundamentals. After that, you need to learn to train. Baru kita ni learn to train. Learn fundamental sports skills. Kalau tadi, movement skills, pergerakan. The second one, learning to train. Sports skills. Baru kan belajar sports skills. The third stage is training to train. Baru kan berlatih untuk berlatih. So to build fitness and sports specific skills, uh, skills khusus untuk sukan sukan itu. So if you're learning football, so you take into account certain skills yang khusus untuk football. If you're a netball player, you take into account skills yang khusus untuk netball. So those are specific skills. Huh? After you finish the level of training to train, then you go into training to compete. Di mana kamu sudah bersedia untuk um, compete ini berlawan berlawan saja so training to compete so to refine skills refine berarti uh, menghalusi skills-skills yang uh, sudah ditunjuk ajar dalam position masing-masing after training to compete you finish that stage then you go to training to win where now is the time where you your passion should be just about winning uh, nothing you learn everything sudah Asasnya, uh, warm-up stretch, uh, positioning, all that. Now, you're already able to play in a high-level competition, which is training to win, right? Which is some of you already. So, around this age, so you're training to win. And 
last but not least, retainment. Jadi, uh, for people who who already been in the sports um, sector, time and time again, they've been an athlete, they've been uh, competing all year round. Now, when they come to a certain age, what happens to them? Uh, like for for me, for me, for example. Okay, so after I finish my athletics career, national athletics career, what happens to me? So that has to be a retainment. What sort of activities should I incorporate in my daily life? So that's the retainment um, section on long-term athletic development. I think this guy, Dr. Baliere, has written so many books. Um, he uh, developed Canada's sports. <laughs> developed UK in your sports now and he developed um, some South Americans and South um, uh, North America's you know, sports association around the world. So it's very enough. He came to Australia one uh, one time and I was very fortunate to listen to him talk on uh, long term athletic development which I found very very passionate about. Very interesting. Huh? So um, part of uh, co-curriculum's uh, uh, initiative is to identify Macam mana ni, dorang uh, membahagikan dari primary to secondary to tertiary. Uh, bagaimana mereka mengendalikan this type of activities. Right, so we'll start with uh, fundamentals. Uh, before that, I'll show you a development window in young athletes. Any boys? Uh, there's a difference between the development of a boy and a girl. Obviously, as you know, a girl matures faster than a boy. Is it true? So, uh, boys and girls' windows are different. So, in case of sports, these are the windows that you have. There's skill, there's speed, there's strength, and endurance. So, look at the ages from where the stages of fundamental goes. It says seven, but this is open to debate. Sometimes, ada separuh uh, daripada mereka mengatakan, eh, uh, kadang-kadang dari start sudah, dan nanti dia jadi so, dari fundamental. So this is this changes a lot. Sometimes um, this changes, right? So this is not a fixed thing, but it's only a guideline. But but as as can this guideline, uh, we follow this, and hopefully we roll the ball ball in the right track. Uh. So learning to train, training to train. Training to train. So speed windows six to seven, boy. See for for young kids, and then um, eleven to fourteen, another speed window. Okay. Strength window, they start to grow. Strength window there. Aerobic, do you know what aerobic is? Not the aerobics, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Aerobics mean ketahanan um, endurance. So there's aerobic and anaerobic. Pernah sudah dapat Danish and bocoran kan? So aerobic and anaerobic. Anaerobic springs, aerobic, you need oxygen. Alright? That's the development windows for boys. Next we go for development windows for girls. Same thing really, um, just a slight change in the stages, uh, learning to play, but uh, start to play. Um, not a bit of a difference there. And skill windows. So let's start on the fundamentals. So the aim for all of us has in the physical education side, in the physical education sector, kita ini bukannya akan make something drastic, just change it now. No, we want everything done in progression, long term. You see your athletes, the athletes will grow to elite athletes, big athletes. That's our task, our job as physical education. We don't want them just to go play football, I want you to win. Uh, that, might, that might be the case for a lot or some coaches in Brunei but ideally, if you want to study in LTAD, that's not the case whatsoever because we have a mentality in the secondary sector uh, I, I can say that for sports as well uh, the main agenda is to get one, get goal, get win but I, I say time and time again, that's not important at all. The most important thing is to learn these basic skills and then get to them. Right? So our task is to do that. Our responsibility is by this, by having this session, learning this, and then um, applying it to our kids, our students. Right? 
So it is to establish the structure for long-term success. Right. Um, an example I can uh, relate to you uh, for sports school students. Um, what I want them to uh, accommodate is apabila mereka menyambung ke national team, do they have the proper um, nutrition? Do they have the proper 